welcome back to Applico UX latest and greatest features. Today I will uh, show you how to quickly and easily add a new TI process button using Action Mini. Let me open up the app and you will see how this works. So now mm, the Action Mini located in the page uh, toolbar contains a new option, TI button. Choosing this option will launch a new creation dialog for the TI process button. You can specify the uh, button title, instance from which you want to select a process, and of course select a process from the drop-down list. Uh, widget pop-up. This means that you can set this option to yes if you want the new uh, TI button to be created in a uh, widget header. By default, it will be created as a toolbar button. Okay, so let's input a title, leave the rest as it is and click create. And as you can see, after those few simple steps, we have a new process created. After the initial setup, Mm, all the configuration, additional configuration can be done using the advanced options GUI. All the process configuration options are available here. If you want to update the parameters, there is a dedicated section available. And at this point, mm, I also wanted to mention a very useful uh, option that has been recently added to the advanced option GUI. Uh, run on click. It's a new advanced option that uh, will allow you to run a process on button click. It's commonly used when the um, param all parameters are predefined. And you can track the process uh, status in the notific notification drawer. Let me show you this on another example. Ah, first, I need to close the edit mode. And now you can see that when I clicked this button, the process was running. The notification is available here. It was successful. Now I will show you where you can find this option. So let's open up this pop-up again. And we can go to the process configuration and there is a dedicated option for this run on click. That's it for today, thanks and see you in the next episode.